Strength of schedule plays a huge factor and huge role when it comes to the win-loss record of a team in an NFL season. And Sharp Football and Analytics Company comprise the list of the top five teams with the easiest schedule. And number one, we've got the Atlanta Falcons. And considering the moves that they've made in the offseason with a lot of the free agency additions, they should be and are the favorites to win the NFC South. So I definitely would not be surprised if they win the NFC South this year. Now, I'm going to do separate videos for each team's within the next month or so as far as predictions for win-loss. So I'm going to talk more about the Falcons and the other teams on this list records once I do separate videos about their schedules. Now, the second team, we have the Los Angeles Chargers. Now, the Los Angeles Chargers, to me, are the sleeper team of the 2024 NFL season. I was looking at all the sports betting websites like FanDuel, DraftKings, and the Chargers had a plus money line to make the playoffs in the 2024 season. And that's definitely something that I definitely agree with in the sense that I think that the Chargers with a healthy Justin Herbert should make the playoffs next season. Now, we know the AFC is very, very competitive, but when you have a top five quarterback in the NFL like a Justin Herbert, you should feel very, very confident about your chances. Now, the third team on this list is the Chicago Bears. Now, with the Chicago Bears, Part of the reason why they should have an easy schedule is because they were the worst team in the NFL last season. They're one of the worst teams in the NFL. So when you're a bad team, you're probably going to play against really other bad teams as well. But the expectation for them this season should be pretty, pretty high in the sense that the NFC as a conference isn't as good as the AFC and they've made a lot of moves in free agency and in the draft. Overall, I think they're going to be a very, very exciting team to watch. And don't be surprised if they make a run at the playoffs. Now, the fourth team on this list is the New York Jets. Now, with the Jets, the, easier, the easy schedule is definitely going to be a huge plus for them, considering the fact that this year it's all about winning a championship. So... Don't be surprised if the Jets actually end up winning the AFC East this year. All of it is obviously contingent on health on a lot of key players that they signed in the offseason. And of course, the health of quarterback Aaron Rodgers. But don't be surprised if the Jets win the AFC East this season. Now, the last team on this list is the New Orleans Saints. Now, for the New Orleans Saints, expectations were high last season as far as some of the moves that they made in free agency, bringing in guys like Derek Carr to play at the quarterback position, and they came up short of those expectations. Now, the NFC South is a lot more competitive than people think. As I mentioned earlier, the team that's on the top of this list, I believe the Falcons are the favorites to win that division, and then I would say followed by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers because of the quarterback situation that they have with Baker Mayfield and some of the skill position players that they have on the offensive side of the ball. I think that the momentum that the Buccaneers built last season is something that's going to carry you over into this season. Now, I want to hear from football fans in the comment section down below, specifically fans of the teams that I just mentioned. What do you think the easy schedule, so to speak, in quotation marks, is going to do for the Falcons, Chargers, Jets, Bears, and the Saints. Do you think it increases their likelihood of making the playoffs? Or do you think that expectations are going to be what people are expecting them to be? 